to have your own voice and not be concerned with what anybody else is doing. That's, to me, what fashion should be about. Having your own signature. I'm Diane Pernay. I'm the founder and director of A Shaded View on Fashion Film. It's the first annual international fashion film festival. I'm the editor-in-chief of my blog, A Shaded View on Fashion, and the co-editor-in-chief of Zoo Magazine. And I make little lo-fi films on a flip. My heart and soul is in my fashion film festival. That's what I love to do and what I'm concentrating on building. Fashion film is like any other film, except the fashion has to play a protagonist. In the competition, they're under five minutes. I personally, unlike Nick Knight, believe that a film after a few minutes needs some kind of scenario. I don't consider a fashion film a photo shoot in movement. Fashion film is about direction, lighting, sound, script. I like things that are comfortable and fluid. Unlike Anna De La Rosa who thinks fashion should be painful, I frankly don't want to suffer for fashion. I wear platform shoes because I like to be taller. Also, it's comfortable. And I like accessories. I wear a veil because I feel it's part of my personality. I had these sunglasses custom made just for me. No one else can have them. Sandro Ganola, who does custom bespoke glasses, he said nobody else can have them because the girl that handles my festival in Tokyo wanted them in pink and I said, it's okay with me if you have them in pink. I love her, she's great. And he said, no, 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 these are Diane's. We can do something different. Don't you love that? <laughs> I remember as a teenager sitting on my bed with a friend of mine. I want to be a fashion designer. This was after childhood wanting to be a ballet dancer, being too short. I studied filmmaking, documentary filmmaking, nothing to do with fashion. Rainer Fassbender and Herzog and John Cassavetes, they're like my idols and still to this day. Since I wasn't into teamwork at that point because of ego or whatever, it's part of growing up, I went into reportage photography street photography because I love street like I love documentaries what happens in real life is beyond fiction I moved to New York we were living across from the factory Andy Warhol's factory on 17th and Broadway I went to Parsons and FIT at the same time to draping pattern making textile science illustration I decided after nine months of it if I stay here any longer I will lose all desire to design so I just quit and started my own business, growing up in public, basically. I had my own path. I didn't really care what anybody else was doing. From when I was a designer to anything I've ever done in my life, I'm not just interested in the major New York, Paris, Milan, London. There's creativity everywhere. The blog and the festival is my platform to promote talent. That's what I like to do.